Our belt chapter 38 talks about, Do not forsake me, O Lord. A Psalm of David for the memorial offering. O Lord, rebuke me not in your anger, nor discipline me in your wrath. Meaning that, yes, you know, David's saying, please don't rebuke me, Lord, or discipline me. Meaning that God does, he will discipline his child. If they're in sin or repenting, God, dis God will discipline them. He also will rebuke them also if he has to. For your arrows have sunk into me, and your hand has come down on me. There is no soundness in my flesh because of your indulation. There is no help in my bones because of my sin. For my iniquities or sins have gone over my head, so death is like he's you know, being held down. You know, by his sins, like a heavy burden, they are too heavy for me. My wound, or my wounds, stink and fester because of my foolishness. I am utterly bowed down and prostrate, meaning he's lying on the ground. All the day I go about mourning, for my sides are filled with burning, and there is no soundness in my flesh. I am feeble and crushed. I groan because of my tumult in my heart. O oh Lord, all my longing is before you. My sighing is not hidden from you. My heart throbs, my strength fails me, and the light of my eyes it also has gone from me. My friends' companions stand aloof from my plague, and my nearest kin stand far off. And you know, David feels like his family is deserting him because, of course, because of the sins. Of course, God, you know, he's all, God, of course, God, you know, has always been there for David through bad times and through good. And God has even had to discipline David uh, to get him back on the right path. As God still does, God still does that today to us. Um, those who seek my life lay their snares. Those who seek my hurt speak of ruin and meditate treacher, treasure, uh, meditate treachery all day long. But I am like a deaf man I do, I do not hear, like a mute man who does not who does not open his mouth. I am become I have become like a man who does not he, who does not hear, and and in whose mouth are no rebukes. So it sounds like David, you know, has has you know become deaf in a way. He's losing, he's losing his uh, his hearing um, and maybe losing his speech also um, because of the sins. Um, says, but for you, O Lord, do I wait. It is you, O Lord, my God, who is of course Christ, who will answer. For I said, only let them not rejoice over me, who boast against me when, I, when, my, when my foot slips. So, you know, David, that's saying, God, you know, please, oh, Lord, when I fall, don't let, don't, let my, don't let my enemies rejoice, you know, be there for me, protect me, get me, up, get me back up, and, and put me back on the, on the right path. For I am ready to fall, and my pain is ever before me. I confess my iniquity or my sins. I am sorry for my sin, but, but, but my foes are vigorous, they are mighty, and many are those who hate me wrongfully. Those who render me evil for good accuse me because I follow after good, um, which is God, of course. Do not forsake, because like I talked about sin in the last video, if you're truly a Christian, you live for God, people will hate you because the world hates the, world hates the truth. People will hate you for following Christ because they know that you will not put up with sin because you're following the one you've got, Jesus Christ, and that's one. Accuse me because I follow after good. Do not forsake me, O Lord. O oh my God, be not far from me. Make haste to help me. Or he's asking God to hurry, you know. O oh Lord, my salvation. So it's 38 about David uh, asking God not to, not, not to forsake him. So it's 38, we have 39 here shortly.